This is Renee from the iPhone blog. We're at WWDC 2011 and we're with Sarek, the famous creator of Cydia. Now, is it Cydia or Cydia? What do you prefer? Uh, it's uh, Cydia. Cydia, okay, excellent. That's like the burning question that we get asked every yeah. time. Yeah, it comes up a lot. I don't actually care how the people pronounce it though, so if you want to call it uh, Cydia or uh, Cydia. Or as whatever. long as you use it? Well, you use it, <laughs> I guess. So, I, I was just about to ask you, do you think Apple's going to try to make you irrelevant today? Is that their big goal? Uh, I don't think that's their big goal. I, I, I think that uh, from their perspective, they're still trying to make a user experience that people really like. Um, they, uh, they really don't want to do things until they can nail it. They don't want to be changing things uh, rapidly out from underneath people. Um, that said, I don't think that they're going to make this irrelevant. I mean, if you look at the number of, uh, of interesting things you can find, um, uh, the little extensions that change all sorts of functionality in all the different applications, I, I think it's very unlikely that Apple would um, actually succeed in stamping all of that out. People every version say, oh yeah, well now they've got copy and paste. Oh yeah, now they've got <laughs> copy and paste. You say that like it's a huge it's always, thing. <laughs> so that was like three years ago, right? And everyone was like, jailbreaking will be dead now. And yeah. it's like, ah. So maybe conversely, there's always been this rumor that Apple looks to jailbreak as their advanced level, their prototyping thing that they don't have to support under warranty. You think there might be any truth to that? Uh, I can see, I can totally see that. I mean, if I were working for Apple, I would totally be looking at uh, what people are doing um, as an interesting prototype. Maybe even like sometimes learning what not to do, sometimes user interface experience people have works, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, but at least it, it gives them sort of an out of Apple uh, test bed or sanity check. Yeah, and that was because uh, otherwise, I mean, yeah, Apple's in an interesting position where they can't really do a random test. Um, if uh, people will start kind of talking and blogging yes. about all the things that they're doing, and when in fact they were just trying something weird. So. You're almost like their nurturing ground. They're yeah. they're they're little secrets. See that. <laughs> now, that said, I mean, I, mean, I don't. I I don't think they're necessarily trying to help us in any way because of that. I would never think that. So. So last time you were on video, you suggested some jailbreak tweaks, and everyone I know immediately went and loaded up things like Barrel and, okay. uh, and Grab. Do you have any, any new ones that you're uh, that you to like? To be honest, actually, you should talk to Britta. Britta, how are you? Thank you. <laughs> Excellent. So do you have any new, you know, latest, favorite uh, jailbreak tweaks to recommend? I don't know about any new ones. I mean, there's lots of ones that I left out from the previous list, because that was very on the spot. Um, and you're on the spot again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. It's really exciting to finally be like one of the crazy people waiting outside all day. All night. One of the crazy ones, almost an Apple legacy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've been awake all night, so I'm not the most useful person right now. All right. Well, have a great show. Sorry. Sorry. Thank you very much for your time. It's highly appreciated.